pretty much everyone owns some graphite. It is, of course, the lead in a pencil. Pencil lead has always been graphite, not lead. Uh, so that's a bit of a misnomer. But there we go. Here's some graphite. Uh, this is also graphite. This is a piece of pyrolytic graphite. Um, and I've got a smaller piece here as well. Graphite is diamagnetic. Diamagnetism is a special kind of magnetism. Uh, it's not really like your average, everyday fridge magnet type magnetism. Um, and in fact, everything is diamagnetic to some extent. But graphite is really quite strongly diamagnetic, which means that I can use graphite to show you what diamagnetism does. To show you that, I've got a set of four magnets here. If I put them there, and then I put the little piece of graphite on top of them, the graphite does that. Now, if you look really carefully, you see that actually the graphite isn't touching the magnets. The graphite is floating above the magnets. And that's because diamagnetic materials repel magnetic fields. So the graphite here is pushing itself away from the magnets, but gravity is pulling it back down. So we end up with a balance of forces, and we end up with the graphite just floating above the magnets. We're using a set of four magnets here for a reason. In fact, they're arranged so that they go north, south, north, south. So most of the field lines follow round from pole to pole. And in the centre, there's actually relatively little field. So our graphite is quite happy to sit there because diamagnetic materials will always look for a field minimum. They will always look for a place where the field is lowest because that's where they feel the least amount of repulsion. If instead of north, south, north, south, we just had four north facing up magnets, or in fact, if we just had one single north pole, um, it wouldn't just sit nicely like that. I can show you that too. If I bring over a nice strong magnet that I've got here, if I try and put this piece of graphite on top, we find actually it won't sit on top at all. It just keeps flying off because it's looking for a place where the field is lower. The field is lower further away from the magnet, so it just goes off the edge of the magnet. If we go back to looking at our nice set of four magnets arranged north, south, north, south, then we can see it will just sit there happily forever.